So the First Nations gems about to make their way up onto Bob Singh Oval for our final game in the Open Women's Tournament. And we already have confirmed our finals opponents. The top spot still on the line. New South Wales Country on eight points. They are four from four. WA finished on nine points after their five games, four wins and a draw for them. Let's look at the lineup for the First Nations Gens. Brandy Davis Walsh is the fullback. Bailey Davies and Brooke Sadler, the wingers. Juana Sullivan, Togo and Shanti Evans will be the centers. Brody Ingram and Rebecca Ford, the half. They say Benu and Marek Mara. The front row, Oakley tight. The dummy half, Bree Chester, Olivia Ingram and Sarika Mooker completing the starting side. McCoy Mosby, Madison Tooth, Keegan Islands, Shanice Allen, Jessica Howard, Vanik Maliata and Kiara Naikoko completing the First Nations gem side. So if they can upset New South Wales country, they'll go to seven points. But they won't have enough to finish higher than New South Wales country in WA. So they will be our finals opponents. It's a question of who will finish top and New South Wales country can be that side if they beat the gems in this one. Hopefully that all makes sense. I want to go in to that final in winning form regardless and maintain their undefeated record. They are four from four to this point. Both teams coming together. In harmony before starting this one. A reminder of the games that will follow. We'll have Queensland Sapphires and New South Wales City to follow after this one. Two 20-minute halves in that game and the winner will win pool A and book their place in the under-19s final tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that as for all the games today. Queensland Rubies, New South Wales country, the under-19s one to watch as well at two o'clock. So get comfortable, plenty of action all day long and we'll do it all again tomorrow on our final day here on NRL.com and our finals live on KA Sports as well. Go around Dad. the Gold Coast area. Come on down. Beautiful conditions. Can't ask for much more. Player comfort level is high. And spectator comfort just the same. As the Gems get first use of it. And they will be ruining that draw with WA yesterday because that last second field goal went over. It could have been a different story in terms of a final spot. Playing for pride nonetheless, and there'll be no pushovers here against New South Wales country. They were finalists in last year's tournament, going down in golden points at WA, so another thriller in this year's competition. The Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship. Here's four kicking early inside the 40. Turning around the fullback rows. Fights 30 out from their own line. Gentle steps off the right and left and powers to the 40. Back five. Putting in work as shoulders plays it. Glanville. Watson. Really impressive this tournament so far with her carries. Making some good meters in this set. Our uh, country. Last tackle now. Not aware it was the last, and it comes to nothing. And that's where the halves have to really take command. Out of dummy half. Nine, Davis Walsh player. joins the attacking line, Go plays it. Nine, nine. Uh, the gems on halfway, recapping their tournament. Go, 
10-0 win over Northern Territory. They did drop a game to Victoria on the opening day, which is another that they will rule in the wash-up. And that draw with WA has really hampered their chances. That ADF, uh, New South Wales country win, I should say, over ADF has meant they cannot be caught on the ladder. So to WA, who won their first two games today. Penalty coming. Too slow to roll away. Chester. Hey, Lata. Hey, 20 out from the line. First look at the country try line for the Gems. Chester. Kind of organised them here on the right. They go to the left hand side. Mosby goes short side. Cut out ball's a good one. Five out from the line. Look at a dummy half. Country defence aiming up. Tested early. Ingram swings it long. Brody Ingram with the one to play it. Ford doing the kicking, rolling it in behind. Is there too much on that? It's just going to go out, or did they play it? They did. They were forced to play it at Georgia Holden. A lovely kick. Well weighted by Rebecca Ford, and they get the repeat set. Here you see it. For a moment, I thought it was just going to go end over end, and Holden did have to bat it dead under the pressure from Shanty Evans. The gentle restarts us. They don't want that to go out, and it does. The country will get the ball back, and gentle just caught them napping. It's those minor points that have cost the First Nations gems. Glanville. Have to reach for it. Carlo still pumping the legs though to get just shy of halfway. Watson juggles it. Met it strong contact. Chester over the top. Carlo second charge of the set. Number two. Down over the 40. No points as yet in this one. Glanville just rolls it in behind. It's a test for the gems. They've let it bounce. Living dangerously. They may pay a big price here. Have they got it down country? We're coming back though. And the chasers are offside is the rule. So it's not going to count. Carter, who followed it up, the halfback, put it on the toe. He's saying inside the tent. So the gem's off the hook. A lively start to this one. Probably just the 20 minute period, our final game in the Open Women's. Our finalists are set. New South Wales country will be one of those, but they're playing for top spot. Australia finished on nine points. New South Wales country currently on eight. This is their final game. They can finish on ten with victory. So, you know their opponents, but they want to be the ones that finish in first spot after this pool stage. Look at a dummy half. Poking their head through the gems. This is a huge chance for them. Are they going to find the opening try? How it'll play it. Two out from the line. It was country celebrating moments ago. Can the Gems find something here? Ford swarmed at first receiver and she puts it down. Off the line. Here we are, 
So still we wait for first points in this one. joining us we're in the final game the open women's New South Wales country and the first nations gems waiting for first points Adam Santorossa here with you in commentary thanks for your company live on NRL.com we're in game five of nine today Out into touch reminder of the schedule to come we have four games following this all in the under 19s Competition, the Queensland Sapphires will take on New South Wales City. The winner will go to tomorrow's final, Western Australia to take on Victoria. And at 2 o'clock, Queensland Rubies, the defending champs, take on New South Wales Country. Winner of that will win Pool B. South Australia and the Northern Territory will complete us. Both of those sides looking for their first win of this tournament. And then tomorrow we're back from 9 to do it all again. Across both NRL.com and KO Sports. Gems on the attack once more. Forward at first receiver. Plays a short ball to Chester. Swing down this right again. Evans. Last tackle now. Board looks for another repeat set. Aims for that goal post, but too much on that. And they'll come out to the 20. The shoulders will start us once again. About to tick into this second phase of this game. 20 minutes. Period. Ten of them gone. We still wait points. Can Gentle provide them a try scoring machine this tournament? She'll prove hard to stop from here. One on one with Ingram. She'll try to run around them. No real support coming her way, and she's met in a strong tackle. Chester it was who stopped her march forward. Got them out to the left here if they put it through the hands. Bateau, who oh! play it 10 out from the line. Oh. Again, they play this short side. Glanville keeps it. Fourth tackle. Out of dummy half, they go. They've got their try. Caught them by surprise. Terry Lee Van Wick touches down and country will score first points. They lined out to the right, and Van Wick saw the markers weren't set. She has our opening try. So gentle to do the converting again. Can they turn four points into six? Here for country. Had some difficult kicks already today in that game against the ADF. Good connection. Is it going to hook around? No, it'll stay to the left of the posts and remains four points to nil for New South Wales country as both ring the changes. Another look at that try. It's broken the stalemate here.
So New South Wales country in control of this one. And they can hold on. They'll maintain their perfect record of five from five and claim top spot in the pool. So regardless of how it goes, they will play WA tomorrow. Doesn't change the equation, but they've got some work to do here. Jim's not letting this one go away. It's just a single try, the lead. Glanville turns it inside to Watterson. Filippo, nice work from dummy half. Has them out over halfway. Offload from Latu. Eventually they play it. 35 out from the Gems line. They want more points. Carter leaves it short. Good offload. They continue to promote the footy. Filippo plays on the last. On the 20. Carter swings it out to Glanville. Will go to the air again. And Evans catches that one comfortably. He's driven back. We'll play it. Five out from their own line. Nice footwork. From Davis Welsh. So inside the final six minutes in the open women's portion of this competition. The final game of the pool round. Top spot up for grabs for New South Wales country. Looking for a place in the final. Defending champions, Western Australia. Their opponents there. And the Gems, they want to end the tournament with a victory. Still in their grasp. Ingram sends it wide. Sullivan Togo. Last tackle. They chance their arm and they'll hand possession back. Holden comes in field off her wing to take a carry. Strong contact still. Second game here for New South Wales country and still looking lively, still looking for more points. Glanville, the player short side. Smith. Fourth tackle now. Gems holding in there to this point. Watterson out to Carter. Dummies on the sweet play. He's gentle. Good in and away. Still going. Has support. Or will she do it on her own? Gentle. Trying to find the sideline. Last tackle now. Can Country find more points? Pressure mounting on the Gems. Rolled into the end goal area. Is it too much on that? It is. I'll come out to the 20. So they... Are still alive. Country unable to put it to bed. I thought for a moment, Gentle would find the try line. So the gems. And they find something. Knock on in the play, the ball. Not what they wanted. They hand possession back. Important part of the field. And the clock. Continues to tick away on them. Just the two wins going into this one. Of course, they had that loss to Victoria with the upset and then a draw to Western Australia. So a couple of close games going against them. Could have been a very different story. This very nearly been a showdown for the final. South Wales country already progressing there. But they want top spot. If they can hold on, they will secure that. Van Wick, our try scorer. Here try here, yeah, certainly puts this one to bed. Ah. Ball goes into dummy half. Watson takes the line, dummies fending. Good run from the 13. Oh. Impressive all tournament. 
Cut it lined out to the right, but Glanville swings it to the left. Holden in behind, but Van Wick put it down. So two minutes remaining here at Bob Sing Oval. Still in the balance this one, our final game of the Open Women's. New South Wales country in the First Nations Gems. Can only get to seven points with victory, which would leave them one point behind Western Australia in second spot. So that draw really coming back to bite them. And it was Ford who has got the footy here that had that field goal opportunity to take the win. That's how this one moment can really shape your destiny at a tournament like this. Every game matters. Got 90 seconds to find something. And we'll find the sideline as Holden lets it bounce out. Well, we will tick to the under-19s portion of the competition after this Pool A action. Queensland Sapphires and New South Wales City follow at 12 o'clock. And the winner of that will go into tomorrow's final and top Pool A. Western Australia versus Victoria will follow at 1 o'clock. And then the Queensland Rubies at 2. Our defending champions against New South Wales country. That's for top spot in Pool B. So make sure you tune in for those. Some spectacular games to come this afternoon. And, of course, our finals tomorrow. We're blessed with some high-quality rugby league. And New South Wales country have just opened the door for the Gems. Got 30 seconds. So still this game. Davis Welsh into the line. Throws the dummy. Pokes the head through. 20 out from the line. Slow to play it. She was it's strongly in the tackle. Time off. 16 seconds remain. The equation in the Open Women's New South Wales country, four wins from four games. They're on eight points. Western Australia played five games, four wins and a draw, has them on nine. So if country can hold on in this final play here, they will go to 10 and take top spot. Academic, really, but I guess you get bragging rights, finishing top of the pool, and it Give you good momentum going into the final against WA tomorrow. I'm hoping that Brandy Davis Welsh is okay. She's been a real highlight of the Gems this tournament. Alongside Rebecca Ford, the halfback. Some of the talent on display. Certainly a lot of it across the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship. Is she going off? If she's going off, that's fine. So, 15 seconds on the clock. And the gems. Okay, pick up the ball. Wait for me. Wait. I'll have... Maybe two tackles up their sleeve to find a try and potentially win this game. And a knock on will put pay to all of that. The Gems know the opportunity they've let go by. But that is full time in New South Wales country. They remain perfect. I oh, made to fight for this one. Just one try, the difference, four points to nil. They will run out winners. The Van Wick try the difference, but it means they remain five from five. They will finish on 10 points and finish top of the pool in the Open Women's. Let's look at that try. That decided this contest. And Terry Lee Van Wick saw the markers clocking off and made them pay. That means tomorrow's final will be New South Wales country and WA New South Wales country. As I said, five from five, finished top on ten.
WA, four wins and a draw from their five games. They finish on nine points. Sets up a showdown tomorrow in New South Wales country in Western Australia for Open Women's Championship. A break from us when we return. We're moving to the under-19s. A massive clash with Paul A. Queensland Sapphires in New South Wales City to decide who takes out Paul A in the under-19s.